All right, so this is a review for the Corsair uh, sound software. Uh, as you see on this first page, it's got profiles here. Uh, you can surround turn surround off. on and off here. Surround on. As well as side tone. Um, I found the headphones are so open anyway. I don't understand the point of side tone. It actually sounded really weird because there was almost an echo effect. So I turned that off. Um, you've got your equalizer settings here, pure direct, bass boost, FPS competition, etc. Um, Two, three. There wasn't a huge one. difference between all these, so I have a concern actually that the EQ settings are not great on this headset. Um, because I've never really been into making my own customized EQ settings, I, I can't say that for sure, but I have a sneaky suspicion the fact that I can't hear a massive difference between these. I mean, there is a difference, but it's not massive, that it's not very good. So if you really need to customize your headphones, this probably is not the set for you. Uh, here's the lighting controls here. Um, I guess early on, you if you turned off the LEDs on the side, you turned off the mic, the info mic thing. So I'm glad that they fixed that, it seems, uh, because the info mic and the RGBs on the side have totally separate controls now, which is awesome. Uh, they also let you set the intervals on, you know, how fast they're blinking, uh, things like that. So that's really cool. Um, it's that new profiles, import, export, etc. I can't figure out what this is for. Um, and I'm sure somebody thinks I'm an idiot for that, but I went in here thinking, oh, I can set a hotkey for one of the keys on the headphones, just like the Logitech. That doesn't seem to be the case, so I'm, I'm not really sure what this is for. Um, maybe it's if you have a Corsair mouse or keyboard and, and you can do some integration with that. Um, same with lighting. You can do custom lighting and things like that. All right, in settings, we have device settings. Uh, you can update your firmware, um, you know, status. Let's see, uh, disable device lighting. So there's a nice little, you know, one click uh, setting to disable all that, disable auto shutoff. Um, I think this is for if there is no sound over it after, uh, for a certain amount of time, it'll automatically shut off the headphones. That's actually a really cool feature. So you don't have to worry about turning it off every time. Uh, I don't know why you disable that. Uh, activate sound notifications. Now this is a really interesting feature I feel I should go over quickly. Uh, so when I press the mute button, it will actually give me voice feedback. So that's what that means on here is it will actually say mic on, mic off. Uh, if you change the equalizer, it'll say that as well. It doesn't go as far as like volume, so you don't have to hear volume up, 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 up as you're turning it up or anything like that. So it's some good common sense voice notifications and I actually found I, I like that quite a bit. So that, that's a cool little thing I've never thought about before. Uh, under program, you could set it to start on system startup, uh, you know, bunch of different settings in here. I don't know what this media player setting is actually. Um, I haven't been able to figure that out. I I have a feeling this is like the Logitech software, but for Corsair. So I, I think this is really for more for if you have more of their ecosystem, uh, the keyboard, mouse, things like that. But I could be totally wrong. And then uh, support. So you can uh, open a ticket here and view your logs and everything else. A very nice little feature. And that concludes the tutorial of the Corsair gaming software.